Hey there, it's David H. Lawrence the 17th, and I've been spending this week watching my beloved Golden State Warriors take on the Houston Rockets, and you may have wondered what the Warriors uniform sponsor is all about. First of all, it's Rakuten, that's how to pronounce that. Um, it's a company that sells stuff like Amazon does, and they own a bunch of things, one of which is Overdrive. If you've never used Overdrive and you love audiobooks or ebooks, Overdrive is just like a traditional library. You get to borrow books, ebooks, and audiobooks for free. And sometimes you have to wait because they're all the copies that they have are checked out, right? So Rakuten owns them. They bought them for like $400 million back in 2015. I haven't got a clue as to how they make money with it, but they do. And there's this Forbes article that talks about a study that Rakuten had commissioned on why, who, where, how, how much people of various age, sex, demographic cells like books, both ebooks and audiobooks. And it turns out that millennials and Gen Zs adore audiobooks. That's people below the age of 35. Uh, people above the age of 35 do as well, but about half as much. It's still a lot. I mean, we we have been enjoying an amazing, like, hockey stick growth of, of, uh, of uh, popularity of audiobooks. And it's one of the reasons that the classes that I teach with Viotagogo and with the ACX Masterclass um, have been so useful to the people that produce those audiobooks because people are just consuming audiobooks. Like crazy. And it turns out that in the commission that they studied, they came up with two reasons, but there's actually a third reason as to why that is the case, why younger people are so into audiobooks, even more so than older people. And the first reason is a reason that millennials and Gen Zs often get made fun of, and that is that they think they can multitask until the cows come home. And we've got another video in this series about how to multitask appropriately. <laughs> Those rules are lost on most millennials that take pride in how much multitasking they do. But what audiobooks allow them to do that a physical book or an ebook doesn't allow them to do is other things. You can listen to an audiobook when you're running, when you're driving, when you're doing the dishes, when you're cleaning the house, when you're doing work, when you're doing spreadsheet work. You can be using audiobooks in the same way that you use music to provide a background. Now, can you pay as much attention to an audiobook? Probably not. Um, so I don't recommend, if you really want to enjoy an audiobook, doing it while you're multitasking, but that's what Gen Z and millennials do. That's the first reason. The second reason is they're available online from any device. So you can listen to an audiobook on your phone, your tablet, your computer. You can listen to it on a smart speaker like an Alexa or Google Home or an Echo. Um, you can, and I know the speaker is the Echo and the Dot, and the service is Alexa. I, I, I can already see people sending me notes going, uh, you know, um, I have a video on correcting when things are appropriate to be correct. Anyway, um, and so that means they're ubiquitous. That means they're everywhere. That means that you can enjoy them from wherever you are, whenever you are, in your car, uh, in, in your bedroom, in your living room, uh, out on a run. It's, it's available anywhere. And I think they also missed the third reason. And the third reason, to me, is the most powerful. And that is that there is absolutely no speed bump between wanting an audiobook and getting an audiobook. I mean, literally seconds. If I decide I want an audiobook, if any Gen Z or millennial decides, if any older person decides they want an audiobook, it literally is seconds between making that decision and having it ready to play on your smart device because the, just as an example, the Audible and the Overdrive app uh, both allow you to identify the title of a book and say, yes, I want it. And boom, it starts to download. I mean, you pay for it with the Audible app and it has to be available in the Overdrive app, you know, the number of copies. But that's how fast it happens. You don't have to wait for somebody to deliver it. You don't have to go someplace and get it and then bring it home. You don't have to, like, have a light. You just need your device and some earbuds or no earbuds. It doesn't really matter. 
that speed to customer satisfaction is exactly the reason that I'm redoing the Vio to Gogo website because it's just too slow. It takes more than a second or two for someone to get what they want when they go there. And no other form of book is like that. Even if you go to the airport or to a bookstore and buy a physical book, you still have to check it out. You can't read it on your way on your way home in the car. In the car, I'm just laughing at, at somebody trying to do this. Um, so the availability and the lack of friction between wanting an audiobook and getting an audiobook is really one of the main reasons that the main users of devices like that uh, love that process so much. It's one of the reasons I do. I'm not under 35, but I certainly enjoy audiobooks as much as they do. And speaking of that, there's one little thing I want to sneak a plug in here for. We're going to be teaching the ACX Masterclass again this summer. And all throughout this week, we've had an offer up on the ACX Masterclass site uh, for a special early, early two-payment plan uh, a registration where instead of paying uh, all of it at once, you pay it in two monthly payments. And then when we start the class in June, uh, you're all set and ready to go. And that closes tonight if you're watching this video the day it's released, which is May 3rd, 2019. If you're seeing it any time after that, well, then it's already closed. So you don't have to worry about what I'm about to tell you. But if you go to acxmasterclass.com right now, there is a link that will take you to this special two payment plan. And there's no interest and there's no fee in addition to what it is. And the price that we're charging you for the class is the lowest price that anyone will pay this year for the class. So you get the best price, you get a two payment plan, which eases your cash flow. Enough said, if you want to be an audiobook narrator and you want to take a class from me uh, that has been responsible for close to 3,000 books being produced for Audible and Amazon and iTunes, I'd love to have you as one of our students and I'd love to save you some effort and some time and spread out your payments a little bit as well. So go to acxmasterclass.com before 9 o'clock Pacific tonight, May 3rd, 2019 to take advantage. So now in terms of audiobooks, do you have any questions? Do you love audiobooks as much as I do? There are lots of people who narrate audiobooks that don't really listen to audiobooks and I've never quite understood that. That's kind of like a stage actor not enjoying going to a play or a, a movie or television actor not enjoying watching movies or television. Um, knowing your product is really important. If for no other reason, that's why you should consume some audiobooks. Um, but tell me what your process is. I mean, do you get why it's so easy and maybe that's why you have so many audiobooks if you're a collector? Um, do you see people using audiobooks and enjoying audiobooks all over the place? What's your biggest challenge there? Tell me what your questions are about that. You can leave them in the comment below. Uh, do it at vo2gogo.com because that's where the conversation is nice and sane and moderated. If you want to join my YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to that and get notified whenever a new video comes out. We're doing one a day this year, right? Go ahead and click on my head there. If my head isn't there, look for a subscribe button somewhere on the page. If you want to see the latest episode, go ahead and click on that frame and YouTube will play it for you. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.